Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Icy Caress here, and welcome back to a brand new episode of Colony Survival. A couple of things have changed since we last left off. All this is still the same, but we do have some watchtowers out the front there. And, oh, hello, guys. I don't know what's going on over here. And also down here, I have expanded underneath both of the colonies like so and you can see it over here as well i expanded down here at the request of one of the viewers who said hey i see you should really think about doing that because that would be a good idea however there is more to this tale than simply expanding this we are done with this area for now you'll notice that we have a lot more colonists now we have over 300 colonists it's amazing i'm going ham and that's because this now exists. There's no beds in here, okay? This is going to be a little farming village because there's a huge open area. And it's going to be a farming village where our people can chill and grow more food for me. So what I'm going to do is those guys over there, they had no path because I'd opened up no path. If I do that, they're all going to come through those trees like almost immediately and just take up their positions up here now i also need to make sure i have enough bows 33 i reckon that's about enough yeah yeah probably probably i don't know okay yeah just in case just in case let's uh do this now someone in the comment section below was asking how i do this fast crafting it's a hotkey on my keyboard logitech g510 if you're looking for a very good keyboard that's not mechanical i don't like mechanical keyboards personally i know i'm weird but i don't I would definitely suggest this one for being a good contender. So, let's head up here. We should be able to see the peasants coming. This is a very cramped close quarters area, and that's deliberate. I want to make it so that the zombies have to come all the way around the outside to get in. But the problem is, and this is something that I learned recently thanks to Scrapman in the YouTube chat, is that in this game, the zombie spawns, it's not affected by light or anything. It's actually affected by the radius from the banner. So I cannot move my banner. If I move my banner, I will lose my original colony. So what that means is I'm going to need to design every other colony, like this one, with the mind that zombies are going to be spawning inside my village. Oh, here come the archers. Hell yeah. Hey, guys. Welcome home. But yeah, so no, so, like zombies can spawn right there and just walk into the houses and kill things. So that's what I'm going to be designing this in mind of. And what that basically will involve is stopping the zombies from being able to hug the walls by digging out moats like this. That's why there's paths. So yeah, I'll look kind of like that, ignoring this segment here. And then later on, what I'll do is I'll dig it down even deeper and then flood it because we're right next to a lake here. And that's something I'm trying to do as well, is make sure that all my colonies are next to a lake for easy flooding. <laughs> it's just, I know it sounds weird, but it'll help. It will help, I promise you. And that should be all of these now populated with more people. No, wait, we're missing some people. Hello, archers. Oh God, I was getting a little worried there. <laughs> But this entire area is going to be farmland. Every single bed I put in here, which I'm actually going to start placing now, is going to be dedicated to farmland. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to seal off these areas. And I'm doing all this deliberately, okay? I do not want those zombies coming in from any direction except one. So I'm going to seal all of these off. And that'll force all the zombies to go around the front. And then that, that actually should be it. Yeah, that should be it all sealed off. And that'll force the zombies to come in through here after they've killed all of these peasants, naturally. And then if we... I mean... Uh, I mean... I mean... Oh, uh, this is difficult. See, the problem with this, all right? And that's my little signpost, by the way. <laughs> points out that the uh, mountain forest village is that way. Although it's more of a, you know, colony giant city fucking thing i don't know but anyway this is going to be very difficult to manage because i'm going to need to dig a moat all the way around this village as well and it's going to need to be quite a moat that's quite far out to force the zombies into an enclosed area here with watchtowers to cover it and then all of this area will be farmland all of it because we are going to start running low on food as you can see by the food counter and as you can see in here 
it's not very pretty right now so we are going to be focusing on that but that's everyone now in their guard position so i can remove this keeping the guard safe and then tomorrow after this night ends i will be able to start putting down in fact you know what i'm gonna put down the farms tonight and then tomorrow after the night ends we'll recruit together all of the colonists that we need to start growing all this food so i'll see you guys when dawn see look look how close they spawn it's fucking ridiculous in fact some of them might have even spawned inside Huh. Anyway, I'll see you guys when the night ends. And so dawns a new day. The zombies aren't yet dead, but you can see I have filled in a lot of this area and that's them now all dead. So we are going to go ahead and straight away start placing down. Well, first of all, let's recruit all the colonists that we lost because uh, we did lose a couple every night. And because we cannot move that banner, we cannot touch that banner's position. Otherwise, we will lose everything. We're just going to have to recruit new people every night. And it's going to be difficult. I'm not going to lie. It's going to be very, very challenging to keep up. But that's fine because now we're about to increase our food stocks even further. And honestly, with an excess of food, I don't mind re-recruiting peasants every single night. Even though it costs 50 each and every goddamn time. So yeah, that'll be fine. It's okay. So I'm placing down the beds right now. We actually have enough colonists now to cover all the jobs. So we're going to real quick do that. I want to space out my recruitment process because what will happen is, uh, sorry, my farming recruitment process by days so that we have a consistent supply of food coming in each and every day rather than like what, what we have going on right now because of some of the farmers dying earlier is once every three days we have a massive harvest which is something i want to avoid because that's just asking for us to run out of food and that's just actually run out of beds now so i'm gonna go ahead and head out here and place down some stockpiles if i can remember the bloody way out hello help <laughs> here we go but the other advantage of this area is when we're done when all the peasants are in for the night we can just do that we can just block this off or you know probably even better just do point like that and then the zombies can't get in Okay, so it's OP. Not gonna lie, that is a little OP, but that's fine. Let's, um, we're just gonna place down spaced out stockpiles here for the peasants to put all of their gains in, all of my food generated by slave labor. It's gonna be great. Yeah, yeah. Can I? Ah, oh, damn it. I was waiting to say, can I, like, place them in the middle of the farms? That would be amazing. Being, like, that would be really cool, developer, if you could make it that if you have a stockpile in your inventory. Uh, Pipplets, I'm talking to you. Yeah, that's right, Pipplets. I said your name. Uh, but it could be really, really cool is if you had an option to make it so that there was a stockpile automatically in the middle of every farm. Because that would stop me having to, well, run around like this, like a dingus, and spam them everywhere. And it would also stop the peasants from being absolute dinguses as well. And heading all the way back to my main colony to deposit food. Now, I haven't seen that happen yet because I haven't built a separate colony before. Except the other day where uh, Indy and I built a poopy hut on this map. I'll show you the poopy hut in a second. It's, it's, it's forever going to be called the poopy hut. I was uh, showing him the basics of the game. So, uh, by the way, feel free to check out IGP, Indie Game Promoter, on YouTube if you haven't already. He is uh, he is awesome people. Be sure to go do that if you don't know who he is. And if you don't know who he is, who the hell are you? How can you not know IGP? What I might do is I might block off entrance to this area completely and then build like a little, I don't know, walkway thing. A single walkway that goes all the way around the colony in an individual moat. Giving the pet the snipers a chance to kill the zombies before they actually get in. I feel like that would be a smarter decision. Yeah. Yeah, actually, I really like the idea of that. It's it's not very castle-like, it's not very village-like, but neither is peasants sleeping like this. I mean, that's that's just asking for a huge orgy to happen. And since I seem to like buy these peasants, I'm I'm guessing they're slaves. I I <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I mean, I don't have slaves. I don't... Pff, slavery? Pff, <laughs> what are you talking about? I would never do something like that. Work harder. <laughs> wow, I'm weird. Okay. Uh, has that has filled up every single one? I think we filled up every single one. And yes, that's 80 more farmers. But that's also 80 more peasants adding to the zombocalypse that's happening. And we're also... Uh, 
18. So that's a problem. I think we're going to dig out a little maze here. Um, just for the zombies to be like, oh no, I thought the direct path. But the peasants will be like, yeah, no, we, we just walk this every single day. Stupid zombies don't know what they're doing. La la la. And then uh, we'll win. I don't know what the fuck that was. <laughs> la 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 la. Yes, we walk this path every single day. Ah, oh, super weird. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to continue digging this out and then it's going to turn nighttime again. And we're going to, I guess, watch and see how well our peasants survive the zompocalypse that will be coming. Hopefully they survive very well. I mean, I'm hoping because this has a lot less peasants in it than the other area, that a lot less zombies will spawn here. But if that's not the case, and all the zombies end up spawning here, then I'll just block off that area. You know what I mean? That's very simple for me. And I wish, I wish, a developer, again, I'm talking to you, Peplis. Yes, that's right, you, you, me. We need to sit down and have a talk. Get some kind of daylight sensor, some kind of gatehouse, an automatic one. Because when you have multiple colonies like I do, right, fuck, right here, right now, like this, I want to be able to have an automatic gatehouse that just closes at nighttime. And I know you might be like, no, that's bad for balancing reasons, but my main colony has to remain open. It has to remain accessible. Otherwise, siege mode activates, so I always have to keep that in mind, so don't worry about it not being fair, because it is fair, okay? I want a daylight sensor, damn it, <laughs> or a gatehouse that automatically closes. That would be cool, a, a nice little gatehouse that costs like iron or something to make, and hey, buddies, all right, that's them starting to come in. They, they can make it through. That's actually a really cool design. I like that. Sweet. And yeah, that's the zombies. Look, look how close the zombies spawn. Archers? Archers? Yes, okay, okay. Archers! Archers! No! Archers! Okay, okay. Alright, guys. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, that's so dicey! Archers! No! A wait farmer died! Actually, that's a good point. Our, oh god, is, is the zombie spawning in here? Hello? Everyone okay in here? Okay, I don't think the zombies are spawning in here. I think that might have been at the other region. Where that happened, uh, yeah, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> We're gonna want to set up a couple more guard posts here, I think. But I mean, what we could do is we could set up like guards like this, okay? Like so, and they will shoot the zombies as they walk down the path. Yeah, yeah, actually, that's really cool. Yeah, we'll do that. We're gonna do that. One of your colonists, oh my god, three of them just straight up fucking killed themselves. What is happening? Why are they dying? Oh God, this is this is this is this is the toss-up when you're king, okay? Your peasant safety, bankruptcy, and death. Also, there's the pippy hut over there. You know what? I'm gonna steal. I'm gonna steal the food from the pippy hut. Ow! I'm also gonna eat some bread, despite the fact that food is a very very valuable commodity right now. I'm gonna eat some bread and head over to the pippy hut and uh, do the thing. Also, let's recruit. I'm gonna have to. I have to. I have to. Look, we've got food sitting here. Just waiting to be harvested. Look at all this food. Hopefully we get enough in to survive today. Otherwise, <laughs> we're doomed. I'm gonna go steal food from the poopy hut. <laughs> this is the little poopy hut. <laughs> it's adorable. Uh, actually, I don't know if I can steal this food. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. This is my food now. I've claimed this area. In the name of Icy Caress, Lord over this land. I also discovered that there's a bunch of other uh, biomes in this game. There are so many biomes. There's deserts, there's giant freaking snow-covered mountains, and giant red mountains, and it, it, it is cool. It is cool, all right? So what we might end up doing at some point is we might end up moving or starting a new game because I will do want to play this game multiplayer with someone. And when we start a new game, we might end up flying around for a little while and finding the perfect starting biome. Because I want to try, like, there was a Red Plains Desert. It was super cool. It really was. And I also have an idea for several challenges. Because there's a way to, um... Well, I'm not, I'm not, actually, I'm not going to say it. Because someone else will steal my video idea. But I'm going to start doing some challenges as well. Custom built challenges, which I hope you guys will enjoy. I also need to find some other games to play in the series. I'm going to record and upload some Overwatch soon. Because, uh, well, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm an alright Overwatch player. And I have fun in that game. I'd like to see whether or not you guys enjoy it. Let me know in the 
comment section down below. Would you enjoy some Overwatch videos? That's another 183 seeds there, which means they're going to be able to plant that and 150 odd wood, uh, food, sorry, which they'll then turn into bread, which will then, I, 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 I guess, add another like 60 or so. I, I don't know. It's, it's really terrible. <laughs> the fit in this game is so bad. Uh, okay, let's go over to our village and see how they are doing. What, what, what are you doing? Wait, what are you doing? What, where are you going? Hello? 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 He's... Hello? Where are you going? What? I don't know what this guy is doing. What? Why are they all going in here? No bloody wonder none of the food's getting collected. If you're all going in here to deposit the fucking stuff. He's walked all the way from over there to here. To deposit food. There are stockpiles everywhere, sir. Okay, maybe they can't access stockpiles when they're underground like that. That could be a thing. Let's try, uh, let's try doing this. I'm going to double up on all the stockpiles here. If that, oh my god, if that's the thing, my village over there, they're all gonna be walking back here to deposit food. That is terrible. What? Oh, no seats. Okay, that's fine. Okay, let's do this. Let's, um, double up on all of our, oh, whoa, that's weird. Uh, d double up on all of our stockpiles. Okay, that seems to have worked. If you look at him now, he's, uh, replanting and regrowing and harvesting, and he's almost harvested all of his entire plot now. So that must have been the problem. That is insane! That- Oh my god, how did I not notice that before? That is terrible! I am so sorry, guys. I'm the worst king that this kingdom has ever had, but I'm also the only king, so you know what? That also makes me the best king, and that also by proxy makes you guys terrible subjects for judging me. Get off of my channel! You can't judge me! I'm too- I'm, I'm unjudgeable! Okay, looks like the archers that we set up here are doing their jobs, but... No, none of these ones are dying. Where are they? Where are those wheat farmers dying then? What? 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 What do you mean you have no path? Why do you? What? The rest of them have a path? That is weird. I don't know why that is. Okay, so. I mean, we know that peasants can walk through beds, so it's not that. There's a path up here. Yes, and then into here. So that's all pathed out. And again, peasants can walk through the beds, so we know that for a fact. And there's a path up here, which leads to all these beds. And again, the peasants can walk through, as we can see. But then, what's the problem? What? Where? That's... Okay, um... Maybe, maybe in the, maybe here? I mean, th these beds are accessible, you know? These ones are also accessible, very accessible. And the only problem now, though, is that, oh, I'm just thinking, because uh, we have all those excess beds now in the other colony. Will the peasants use those to sleep in, or will they use the free beds that are here? That is the question. Let's recruit the 14 God, it feels so bad seeing that. And also, these guys are missing their axes. Why are you missing your axes? <laughs> I like it. Okay, let's craft some axes, I guess. Uh, we need iron. Okay, we have eight iron, thank God. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Bam. All right, you guys have your axes. Go! Go work. Go work. I mean, I, I guess we can set up temporary residence here. Maybe, you know, I mean, it's starting to look like a fucking refugee camp, but maybe that'll help. I don't know. I don't understand what their problem is, and it's frustrating me, and I hate it. You guys are assholes. That's fine. Whatever. What the fuck ever. We're going to start building some more of these. It's harvest day, bitches. Food is going to be coming in. I'm going to wait until the end of the day. And then I'm going to 
basically, I guess, just take a look and see how much food we have when all is said and done. I'm also going to set up a couple of guard towers here just to watch out for the peasants coming in. And you know what? I, I, I'm not going to build fancy pants guard towers, you know, just, just simple block ones like this as per usual for what I normally do with some quivers. Here we go. On top. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, there we go, and then let's do another one here. And this will keep the peasants safe as they're coming in. Uh, let's do that like that. This will keep the peasants safe as they're coming in to get home, basically. Hopefully, maybe, possibly. Probably not, they're all gonna die, but that's fine. As long as we have enough food to buy them all again, that's okay. Let's recruit the missing colonists. There we go, and hopefully they get in on time. Ha! <sighs> All right, I'm gonna sit. I'm gonna AFK. I'm gonna wait until nighttime falls. We'll see how much food we had at the end of the day. Having bought 22 more peasants, which is 1,100 food. I'll see you guys in a little bit. That was one hell of a harvest. That was probably somewhere in the region of four to five thousand food in one harvest from this area. Now it does take three days to grow, but you also have to bear in mind. I almost joked there that. This wasn't all planted. You can see all the new plants that haven't been harvested yet. So this is going to be a consistent every single day, three to five thousand food. That is amazing. That is absolutely perfect for what we needed it for. Brilliant. Good. We can expand that a lot also. I thought he was just going to let that peasant die there. I was getting a little bit worried. Not going to lie. That is amazing, brilliant, good, fantastic, brilliant work, peasants. We are ready and set. Once we have more seeds, once we have more food, more farms going, this entire area set up and ready to go, then we will be ready to build the Dwarven Kingdom. <laughs> However, that's going to wrap it up for this episode. That's our colonists dying again over here because of the lack of path. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you have any tips, tricks, requests, anything at all for me, probably going to get two, maybe three more episodes out of this colony. And then we'll either wait for the next update or kick off a challenge mode. And again, they're, they're just dying over here. They're dying and I don't know why. It's weird. It's random. Not that many died this time, though. Actually, that was only three people. Does that mean that they took... They are. They're taking these beds. Okay, all right, all right. That's fine. That's fine. Bam. Bam. I don't care if this place looks like a homeless shelter. So long as they have beds. That's fine by me. We only needed another three. Uh, one, two, and then that one there. Perfect. Fan. Fantastic. So we resolved that problem. So yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, you know what to do. Like, share, favorite, and subscribe. Plus a comment and all of that fun stuff. Check out IGP in the description down below. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Whatever I make. I'm proud of the progress we made today. A whole new village and a massive amount of food. Bye-bye.